Um, I'm Catherine Ellis. I'm married to Max Ellis. He's an illustrator and photographer, and I am a singer songwriter. Uh, we have two children, two boys, and uh, Max has two older daughters who one lives up in Scotland, and the other one lives with her mother in London. I kept a journal for probably almost 15 years um, where I wrote a page a day and sometimes I forget and feel very bad about it and put things in or write I can't remember over the whole page but generally I would try and do it last thing at night and write a whole page on whatever um, so when the opportunity presented itself to to do a photo journal and um, that appealed to my record keeping and uh, I find that is less restrictive than writing because if I don't want to write anything I don't have to and I can show what I want to show and um, it's what matters to me that day. Well, I'm self-employed, so my work really never stops. So I weave my work into my family life, so it's all one thing. An extreme day would be where I'd be traveling, possibly f flying on two flights to somewhere in the middle of Russia, going on stage, performing for an hour, um, drinking lots of champagne and eating sushi, and then coming back completely exhausted and horrified at all the hideous housework and mess that's accumulated while I've been away. <laughs> A less extreme day would be getting up as late as possible. I hate getting up in the morning. Max gets up early, makes the kids lunches. Um, the deal is that uh, he does all of that, gets them up, and then I sort of get up in time to physically remove them from the house and take them to school, which is the bit that he doesn't like, mm -hmm. but I quite like that. Then I'll come home and um, potter about just on my computer doing my admin, replying to thousands of emails, liaising with my personal manager about projects that we're doing and things that need catching up on. So I like to sort of work into the day, get things out of the way, and then after lunch I'll write songs in my studio. I never feel that I'm doing anything well enough but I'm sure I'm not alone in that because essentially I am a working mother and um, so I don't think I'm unique in that I don't feel that I'm you know doing enough with my children for my children and neither do I feel that I'm doing enough to further my career and reach my potential artistically but you know I'm not prepared to give up either so I have to continue juggling as best I can and hope that everybody turns out all right. <laughs> the payback for me to get on stage and put my life aside in terms of the events of my life and the people in my life or what may or may not be happening that day means that I can be I can actually through the act of singing I can actually become present in the present moment and that's actually the only time that I feel that in my life because the rest of the time I'm planning or I'm looking back, or I'm dealing with things, this is happening, that's happening. When I'm on stage, it's just me, in the present, experiencing my life. I'm 